Are you looking for an ultra lightweight portable power station that is still powerful enough to run all of your critical devices? Check out the Bouge RV Juice Go. This unit is portable, lightweight, powerful, it's got a cool handle so you can carry it anywhere, and it's powerful enough that you can power all of your devices, your cameras, your drones, your CPAP machine, your laptop, anything you want to do, and still have it in a light, compact unit. So today, we're going to check this out, hang out with me, I'm going to run back to the workshop and we're going to dive into this. So we're now back in the workshop and I'm going to go over the specs and the features of the Bouge RV Juice Go. So you can see it came nicely packed. This is what it came with in the packaging. For a unit weighing just over 6 pounds and being this small, it's got an impressive capacity of 240 watt hours. Let's go over the front a little bit more. So here's the LED screen, you can see the power button, the AC button, the LED button, the DC input, the cigarette port output. It's got USB-C1 output and input, USB-C2 output, USB-A output. On the back side, again, there's the AC output and the cooling fans. It can do 150 watts of AC output, 130 watts DC output. The Type-C output, C1 is 100 watts, C2 is 30 watts. USB output is 13 watts. So it's got this really cool flashlight with three LED modes and it's got a five-year warranty from Bouge RV, so you know they're going to be around to support the unit in case anything happens to it. So now I'm going to run it through the standard test that I would on any power station. We're going to check the capacity. We're going to check the output. We're going to check the charging. We're going to do all of that. So hang out. Let's have some fun. Well, I used the Bouge RV Juice Go for several days, and now I'm going to tell you what my experience was. I'm going to start with the charging. There are four ways to charge the unit. AC, which I didn't use because I don't have the optional AC adapter. Then there's the Type C, which I struggled with, but just the limits of my setup. Then there is the car charging, which worked perfectly fine. I got about 85, 86 watts out of that. But where it really stood out was the solar. I was able to get 100 watts of solar in consistently. So the charging on the unit is really good. Now let's talk about the capacity of the unit. Now, I was a little surprised, I'm going to bring up my notes here, um, on the DC capacity, but that might be a limitation of my setup. I only got 84% of the 240 watt hours, so I was a little disappointed about that, but don't jump to any conclusions because, again, I think it was really more me than the unit. And the reason I say that is because when I tested the AC side, I got 95% of the 240 watt hours, which is spectacular. So I think capacity-wise, the unit is solid. Now, as far as functionality, I mean, it's got, you know, the Type-C, it's got the USB, it's got the um, car cigarette lighter adapter. Uh, you can do all sorts of things with it. And let's not forget about this AC. I mean, you can do 150 watts out of this AC side. So you can power a laptop, you can power a CPAP machine. So you could go hiking with your iPad or your laptop and this and um, have very little weight and be able to charge everything up and if you have a little solar panel with you I mean you can be off-grid for a while and have all the power and energy that you're gonna need that brings me to where would you use it well you'd use it here you'd use it at the beach you'd use it camping you'd use it hiking you'd use it anywhere outdoors it's perfect for that but you could also use it other places you could use it for emergency backup now the unit's not gonna run your whole house for a month I mean it's a teeny weeny little six pound unit but for me personally I live in Oklahoma and we get tornadoes all the time. So I can grab this lightweight unit, run down to my storm shelter, and I can power a fan, I can power my computer, I can charge all my phones almost indefinitely because it is so powerful, lightweight, and compact. So it's a very impressive unit. Um, I really liked it. Um, if you are interested in buying it, you, there's a link below that you can click. I would say get a couple of them. You know, I would keep one in the car. I'd keep one by your go bag. I keep one in, uh, with the with the camping gear. I mean, it's uh, at the price and at the uh, with the power and the, um, you know the portability. I mean, it's just a no-brainer to get. Um, very impressed with it. If anyone's used the product or used something else like it, love to hear what you have to say about it. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, I'm going to jump into the boat now and go enjoy this beautiful Oklahoma morning. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to everyone soon.